I am Nitin and today in this PSLE 2016 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's move on to question 12. So question 12 is testing us on circles and this is the question over here. So this question has two parts, part A and part B. So I'll be going through part A right now and part B later in this video. So let's read the question first. The outline of the shaded figure below is formed by three identical small quarter circles, two identical large quarter circles, and three straight lines. Okay, part A. What is the radius of the large quarter circle? Okay, so now that we have read the question, we should highlight the key information. So the outline of the shaded figure below is formed by three identical small quarter circles. Sorry, there's a typo. Should be comma here. Comma. Two identical large quarter circles and three straight lines. Okay? So this is the thing. And then they are asking us what is the what is the radius of the large quarter circle? Okay, so let me get something straight over here. So basically, let me get something straight here. Um, so I'm going to show you where is the large quarter circle, okay? So the large quarter circle is basically is basically this circle over here, it's this quarter circle here. And since there are two identical of them, right? Let me just draw both of them. So this is one of the large quarter circles. This is the other one. Okay. So these are the two large quarter circles and then they have told us um, three identical small quarter circles right so let me draw those small quarter circles so this blue color line is basically the same as this okay and then this is the quarter circle and then this is also a small quarter circle Okay, and then this is also another one. Okay, so these are the, so the red color is the big quarter circle and the blue color is the small quarter circle. Okay, and then they have told us the three straight lines. The three straight lines are basically this line over here, this line, and then this line again okay so these are the three straight lines so i think you understand that now so let me erase them out okay so what is the radius of a large quarter circle so let me show you where is the radius of the large quarter circle so here is the radius okay so this is the radius also this thing over here Okay, now that you see the radius, right, let me show you what the radius comprises of. So the radius comprises of um, this area over here and the small quarter circles radius. Okay, so first we need to find this radius over here. This, this, um, this length first so it is really easy to find this length because the we know the small quarter circles radius right the small quarter circles radius it is 4 cm and we know that this side is also 4 cm and we also know that there are 
two identical large quarter circles right so basically both of these lengths over here over here should be 4 cm together so to find one of the lengths we take 4 cm divided by 2 which will give us 2 cm okay and then now we know that the small quarter circles radius is 4 cm so we just need to take 2 cm plus 4 cm which will give us 6 cm okay so 6 cm is the answer for part a okay so this is how we derive the answer for part a so now that we have done part a let's move on to part b okay let's take a look at part b so let's read the part b first Find the parameter of the shaded figure. Take pi equals 3.14. Okay, so the is the same thing. So there's three identical small quarter circles, two identical large quarter circles, and three straight lines. Okay, so they are asking us to find the parameter of the shaded figure. So they are asking us to take pi equals to 3.14. Okay, what where is the parameter of the shaded figure? Let us see. So the parameter of the shaded figure is, let me show you. So this thing over here, this thing over here, this up, going down, the small quarter circles up, okay, another small quarter circle up, and then another small quarter circle up. So there are three small quarter circle up, and one small quarter circle length first and then two large quarter circles arc okay so this is the parameter okay i'm sorry if it's not clear to you but so this is the rough parameter the main parameter okay so basically what we need to find is so we already know this part so this is already 2 cm we already know this here is also 2 cm and we also know this length already what we actually need to find is three quarter circle arcs so we need to find three small quarter circle means qc let me just write it as a variation okay so three qc arcs okay and then we need to find two large arcs as well two large qc arcs and then we just need to add plus 2cm plus 4cm plus 2cm okay so this is basically parameter okay so we first find the arc of the small quadrant quadrant means quarter circle okay just know that so the small quadrant how to find the arc so uh, to find the arc of a small quarter circle we need to know the 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 formula of parameter or known as circumference as well so the formula it is pi d so we take pi d so it is 3.14 times 4 plus 4 so 4 plus 4 came from in order to find the diameter the diameter is just two radiuses right so one radius is 4 and then two radius is 4 plus 4 that is why it is 8 and then we need to divide by 4 or times 1 quarter because this is just a quarter circle not the full circle that is why we need to divide by 4 so 3.14 times 8 divided by 4 which will give us 6.28 cm okay now we find the arc of the big quadrant same formula applies pi d pi times diameter okay so let me write the formula here pi d pi d okay and then this is pi times d times one quarter okay so the arc of the big quadrant how do we do this 
This is the same thing, just 3 by 1 for times. We found the radius of the big quarter circle, right? So, radius of B, Q, C. Big quarter circle equals to 4 plus 2, which is 6. Okay, so 3.14 times 6 plus 6, because we need to find the diameter, divide by divide by 4, which will give us 9.42. Since it is a quarter circle, we need to divide by 4. So basically what this means it is. So this means pi times d times 1 quarter. Same thing. Okay. So note this. So it is 9.42 cm, 6.82 cm. Okay. And we just need to find 3 of these now. 3 of the small quadrant and two of these big quadrant arcs and then we need to add two two and four okay so basically the parameter of the shaded figure is three arcs of the small quadrant plus two arcs of the big quadrant plus four cm plus two cm plus two cm okay so three arcs of the small quadrant it is 6.28 times 3, okay, 6.28 times 3, plus 2 big quadrant arcs, which is uh, 2 times 9.42 cm, plus 4 plus 4, 2 plus 2 cm, which will give us, so this is 18 plus 84 cm, this is 18.84 cm as well. And then this just comes down here okay so 18.84 cm plus 18.84 cm plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 cm will give us 45.68 cm so this is the answer for part B okay so I hope you understand my explanation for question 12 so thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.